Denver 7 News starts right now. This is the man investigators say killed a Loveland family man for the simple fact that he was wearing a uniform. Tonight, the claims against Joshua Cummings are stacking up. The local Muslim community had alerted the feds about his radical views. The FBI was watching him, and he put an entire town on edge before coming to our state. Despite those warnings, RTD officer Scott Von Lincoln was killed execution style. And we have our team digging into the suspect's past here and in his home state of Texas. Liz Gillardi starts our team coverage tonight near Union Station. We are talking about a man who allegedly made statements about wanting to kill an entire community. And that was long before the shooting here near Union Station, where you can see a memorial tonight. But we also know there were warning signs here in Denver in the weeks leading up to this. The FBI knew all about Joshua Cummings long before they searched the motel room where he was staying. Recent warning signs pointed to his radicalization. Is our officer OK? There, he's not breathing. Um, we have EM, uh, EMT civilians here doing first aid. Owners of a martial arts academy in Cummings' hometown tell us he went to a karate studio in the Denver area the day he shot and killed the RTD guard. That studio saying no comment. In the weeks leading up to the shooting, he worked at a Goodwill warehouse here in Denver and made several visits to a local mosque where his statements got him banned. A downward spiral for the U.S. citizen and Army veteran. I talked with a childhood friend who said they went to Catholic elementary school together and attended mass every Friday. We don't know when he converted. Based on the uh, some of the rhetoric he was using, some of the very uh, violent and graphic uh, statements he was making, uh, local mosque leadership reported him immediately to uh, the Department of Homeland Security. DHS confirms that statement and referred the incident to law enforcement. It was far from the first time feds have seen his name. Cummings has been in a federal database since 2004. So is this a case of warning signs missed? Right now, we just don't know. And the suspect is expected to appear in court tomorrow. We also know the FBI in close contact with Denver police investigators to see whether or not there will be some federal implications in this case. Reporting live, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Thanks, Liz. And Joshua Cummings had an entire town on edge for nearly a year. Denver 7 investigator Ryan Luby is in the Texas Panhandle in Pampa where people knew the man well. And good evening. This is Joshua Cummings' hometown. Many people here knew he practiced Islam. Many of them did not have any issue with that. But they say when he got extreme is when they got very worried. Some of them quite literally locked and loaded. This is our logo for the Pampa School. There's a lot of pride in the Kempo Karate that Alex Couch teaches here. Over the years, he and his friend Nick Day got to know Joshua Cummings. Back he actually trained with us a couple times. We invited him in. Trouble is, they say Cummings eventually got aggressive with them, especially as the man opened his own jujitsu school around the corner. So aggressive that for roughly three months last summer, they blocked the back door as Nick stood guard, nine millimeter gun in hand. But because of, you know, his behavior, his behavior, you know, we were worried that he was going to do something radical. Around the same time, a local church invited Cummings to Sunday service. They had hoped to ease tensions, quash rumors, and make him feel comfortable in his faith and in this community as he had been. I testify that there's only one God where they worship him and Muhammad is his prophet. But because of Cummings' ongoing extremes with his family now tied in, the pastor's wife said the community was still on edge. He had a lot of things going on, I guess, and it continued to get bad for them. And now, nonetheless, she and everyone else in this Texas town are stunned by what Cummings stands accused of doing back in Denver, no matter how extreme he seemed. We were literally speechless, and our mouth was open. It's kind of, I, I don't get it. Now, to speak to the character of this family, the church that you saw, the Lighthouse Covenant Fellowship, they're planning to raise money for Scott Von Lincoln's family back in Colorado to help out as best they can. For now, we are in Pampa, Texas tonight. I'm Ryan Luby, Denver 7 Investigates. And Scott Von Lincoln was working as an RTD transit officer here, trying to make ends meet in between jobs. His real passion was ministry, serving as a pastor in Loveland and volunteering as a chaplain. His funeral will take place in Loveland Monday morning at 1030. Mm.